welcome back to Red Curl Vegan. Thanks for joining me today. And so in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my no poo journey. So I've made videos in the past about the different elements of my eco journey as a whole. And so in this video, I wanted to share with you my hair journey. Okay, so I'm obviously going to be starting at the beginning and that was back in January 2019 was when my eco journey really started. I started looking at the different elements of my life and shampoo and conditioner were the first things that I wanted to swap out. So I started obviously by using them up and I've always said this on my channel, it's very important to use up in terms of any lifestyle change, what you already have, have first before you swap it over for anything else. And I used up, I think it was those big black bottles of Tresemme, I think the brand was, that's what I was using at the time. So I used those up first and then I just started doing my research. So I researched no poo alternatives or uh, hair cleansing alternatives and the first one that I started and tried out was baking soda and apple cider vinegar. Now this is a really popular combination um, and it's a really popular alternative to shampoo and conditioner. So the baking soda is usually uh, mixed with water and used as a pour on cleanser and the apple cider vinegar or ACV for short is used as the rinse which is or the conditioning rinse which is also uh, diluted down with water so you can leave it on your hair and not rinse it out but I personally was rinsing it out in the beginning and then as I went along and, and learned progressively I, I changed my routine so that's what I started with and I did this for I think a good six months and it was really successful. I was really surprised. I was really in awe, I guess, and amazed that this super cheap cupboard ingredient could actually wash your hair effectively instead of using shampoo and conditioner. And apple cider vinegar was a great way to add shine and to balance out the pH because baking soda is very alkaline and of course apple cider vinegar is very acidic. So that was successful for me and then also obviously it needs mentioning that I did go through a detox stage so there is a stage when swapping over from conventional shampoo and conditioner where your hair will go through an adjustment period and this is very normal and it can be a couple of weeks for some people it can be a couple of months for other people and this really varies and to be perfectly honest I don't specifically remember how long my detox phase was but I think it was maybe just a month or so. Truth be told, I used to only wash my hair once a week anyway, uh, even when I used conventional products. So to be honest, I think that it wasn't that difficult to transition away from it because my hair wasn't used to continual daily use of conventional hair products, if that makes sense. So if you're somebody who washes your hair every day with shampoo and conditioner or uses a lot of hair products, the journey is going to be or the transition is going to be more difficult because your hair has become a lot more accustomed to it on a daily basis so yeah there is a detox or a transition phase where your hair needs to wean off of that's that's the right word needs to wean off of conventional products and it's been used to have it having you know the hair coated in them and then suddenly you're switching over to something that's completely foreign to it so yes there is that stage at the beginning um, and that was not the end of the world my hair was a greasy mess for a while for maybe a couple of weeks but like I say the less you wash your hair anyway um, the easier that's going to be so then I started researching other alternatives and I think the reason for this was the more that I went on this journey the more I started to see maybe the slightly abrasive effects of baking soda and maybe also the harsh effects of apple cider vinegar and just I really this was a very new journey to me this was incredibly in a way exciting but also quite daunting because it was something that I'd done for you know 30 years and then suddenly I was changing completely the way I did things so I didn't want to just stick to one method is what I mean I didn't just want to stick to baking soda and apple cider vinegar as much as they were very frugal effective ways of doing it I wanted to try out other alternatives and so I started reducing gradually the amount of baking soda that I was adding to my water as my hair cleanser and I also started to dilute my apple cider vinegar a little bit more and then I looked at alternatives such as soap nuts. So I've mentioned in previous videos how I use them for cleaning. I pop them in a little muslin cloth bag and I pop them in my washing machine to do my laundry. 
and of course there is a, a natural saponin and so it was coming up as quite a popular alternative as well so I thought well I've already got them which almost made it free to wash my hair effectively and this was something that I just thought was completely amazing and this kind of blew me away really I thought I've got this nut here that I can use not only to do my laundry but I can also use it to wash my hair so I tried that out and I used it as a liquid concentrate I guess so I would boil them down and turn them into a soapy liquid and I would use that and I continued to use my apple cider vinegar then I started to develop real bad dry scalp issues and I also started to develop major dry, dry skin on my forehead and this really got to me personally now this isn't to say that it doesn't work and this isn't to say that you shouldn't use it at all it's just that I personally have very sensitive skin and I also have very dry skin I've briefly talked about my skin in previous videos and so it just didn't work for me but it's incredibly effective it does what it says on the tin you know it does completely clean your hair you know they're an amazing natural alternative product but just for me personally it didn't work and I started to develop major dry scalp which really affected my confidence and it did kind of make me feel a bit sad because I was trying to find alternatives and I was trialing different things but that's just the nature of you know of new journeys and new experiences so unfortunately I had to stop using soap nuts as my alternative to shampoo and then I looked at my infamous olive oil bar soap so I've ra raved about it in loads of videos I won't bore you with it again <laughs> but basically I have this single bar of soap that does everything for me which is my replacement for shower gel and so I looked at using that as a shampoo alternative I did try it in its bar form initially but that was a little bit tricky so then I was grating it down and turning it into a liquid and so I tried that as an alternative to shampoo and it obviously did its job thoroughly well but wasn't fixing the dry scalp problem and with research I actually realized that soap was a really bad idea I shouldn't have used that on my hair again this is just my own personal experience um, some people may be able to tolerate these things more than my hair or my skin does but just personally soap is very drying and it strips your hair of its natural oils way too much so it whilst it was obviously very effective it wasn't particularly healthy for me personally and it wasn't really helping with my dry scalp problem which in hindsight kind of made sense so i then moved on to looking at clays which i personally didn't really get on with i found it very messy they were effective but i just found it very time consuming and it made a mess in the bath or, or the shower so um i just didn't really find that overly convenient i tried water only which really is the ultimate goal in my eyes personally unfortunately again didn't work for me i think with the amount of hair that i have and it's very curly and it's very long unfortunately for me water only didn't work so that means as it says just using water to wash your hair so no alternatives to shampoo and conditioner at all i think maybe people might do occasionally an acv rinse but yeah, water only would be the ultimate minimalist eco goal, um, but it didn't work for me. I just found that it doesn't, it didn't matter how much I massaged and exfoliated the scalp underwater as vigorously as, you know, was recommended. Due to the length of my hair, the natural sebums would just, were not circulating down the shaft of the hair well enough because I guess, I guess there was they were stopping at all the kinks and the curls and it just it just wasn't working for me so I did try that like I say that would be the absolute ultimate goal <laughs> in terms of minimalism and sustainability and and particularly in terms of frugal living but for me that one didn't work and so I kind of reached a bit of a bit of a crossroads where I was like okay so I've I've tried apple cider vinegar and baking soda, I've tried all these other different things and then I'm having this issue with dry scalp and so then much to my dislike at the time I looked into shampoo and conditioner bars so I did feel like this was a bit of a step backwards for me because I'd obviously gone to all that effort by this time I think I was about a year into my journey so I did feel that I was maybe going backwards a little bit by looking at shampoo and conditioner bars because I'd moved away from shampoo and conditioner, tried all these natural alternatives, which whilst they were very effective, very cheap, they were just not entirely right for my sensitive skin and my delicate hair. 
And so I kind of just thought, okay, this does feel like a bit of a backward step, but the difference with shampoo bars and conditioner bars, generally if you buy the right ones, is that they don't contain those added parabens and SLS. They're also obviously in bar form, so you're not buying the plastic bottle. I looked into the brand Etique, which is a very, very popular brand for shampoo and conditioner bars in particular. And I believe that the shampoo bar that I tried is their coconut one yeah that's right and their conditioner bar is the Guardian I think it's called it's a green one so they worked brilliantly and they did what they were meant to do and they did solve my dry scalp problem so I did I, I did feel a bit of a relief because I thought okay I do kind of feel like I've gone backwards a little bit but it's not a bottle of conventional shampoo and conditioner. The ingredients are natural, it isn't harmful, and it comes in cardboard box, so, you know, it's not really the end of the world. And to be honest, they were effective, and I thought, okay, so this is okay, but then cost-wise, I thought, yeah, these are a little bit expensive. So I did that for a couple of months, and then what came about is looking into co-washing. So. I tried to start co-washing, which means washing with conditioner only, so completely eliminating the need for shampoo. I tried this because I was still doing research, so I'll always look for new ways and new methods or better ways or cheaper ways to do things. And whilst I had purchased these shampoo and conditioner bars, I was still doing my research. And co-washing was coming up a lot, particularly for people with curly hair. So the curly girl method is something that's very popular and this usually involves, from what I've understood, just using conditioner to wash your hair and then other products alongside it. And basically eliminating shampoo because much to like I just mentioned at the start, soap for example is very drying and strips your hair of its natural oils but shampoo does the same thing. So I was a bit scared about co-washing. I tried using the bar to co-wash but this was quite tedious because of the amount of hair that I've got and the amount of lather that was required to wash and cleanse my hair and then also condition it. I found this really hard work and it just took forever. It was just a lot of work getting the product off of the bar to not only do the conditioning effect but also the cleansing. And so then I just bit the bullet and I went with the brand Faith in Nature and I it's a liquid conditioner and so again whilst I felt that I had slightly gone backwards in my journey again because I was like okay I felt a little bit deflated going to shampoo and conditioner bars and now I'm actually going all the way back to a liquid conditioner but hear me out so <laughs> Faith in Nature are a really great natural company so they do sell their items in plastic bottles and this is something that I did deliberate over for several weeks in fact but the bar wasn't working for me and by this point I'd done my research on co-washing I decided that this was probably the best thing for my hair personally and so I wanted to give it a try so luckily for me in my local zero waste store that I've mentioned lots in my videos where I get my nuts and my seeds and my oils and things like that they have the big bulk containers that Faith in Nature sell. They also do body wash and shampoo and hand wash. They happen to have this coconut conditioner in their big bulk bottles. And so I took a plastic bottle to the shop, refilled it and I gave it a go. And I have to say that I really wish I'd started co-washing sooner. I was really, really shocked at how well it washes your hair. I thought, how on earth do you wash your hair properly? How does conditioner get rid of grease because we we are always told not to put conditioner on our scalp right because it makes the hair greasy and it's only to coat the lengths of the hair and, and make the lengths of our hair feel silky and soft but actually that is with regards to conventional conditioner that contains silicones and particularly ingredients like that which actually all they do is coat the hair with that silky effect that we see and we can feel paraben free and SLS free and silicon free also shampoos you can get but conditioners are actually a lot better for the hair and Faith in Nature's conditioner contains 99% natural ingredients so I had this opportunity to refill it at my, my local zero waste shop and I, like I say I gave it a go and yeah shockingly it worked incredibly well it took me a couple attempts to get used to it and obviously to keep doing my research and watching videos, but 
it's just amazing. I, I just, I really wish that I had bitten the bullet and not been so intimidated by it all that time ago. And, but you know, it's just part of the journey. That's life. I think that I would have wanted to try out those natural alternatives first, to be perfectly honest. But yeah, I don't want to go into too much detail about co-washing specifically in this video because I don't want to go off on a tangent. So if you're, if you want to know more about it, about it sorry I'm more than happy to make a video specifically on co-washing and my hair washing routine so that's where I'm at now I've been co-washing for I think seven months now and I'm really really happy with it so what I've done is I've bought a big five litre container of it I've mentioned this in previous videos whilst this is plastic and whilst I did give myself a hard time over this it's recycled plastic and they do offer the opportunity to return it to them and then they reuse it in their production cycle which I believe is called closed loop process so that was a real big deciding factor for me I wouldn't have just gone out and randomly gone back to buying single plastic bottles of conditioner from conventional shops for example so it's the fact that the company themselves uses natural ingredients and that they will reuse their containers that you send back to them that really appealed to me and of course I had the opportunity like I said to trial that out in my local zero waste shop so yeah if it's something that interests you I'm happy to do a video on that I've been doing it like I say for just over seven months now and I'm really really happy with it the irony is I'm filming this video today with quite messy hair <laughs> but in my defense um, it's proving slightly difficult to keep my hair maintained and washed as I usually would so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I really wanted to just share with you today my my no poo my low poo natural hair cleansing journey and if you want to see any more content like this from me please let me know in the comments section I'd love to chat about anything and of course make sure you hit the like button if you did enjoy this video and hit subscribe and also click the notification bell if you want to see any new videos from myself. In the meantime, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!